Hello everyone, this is Warpster77 tuning into another video, and today I will be playing Firewatch again. And where we laugh la last left off, we were just getting called from Delilah. Um, so, hold on one second. I will be right back. Okay, sorry that uh, the bottom taskbar was annoying me. So, we are replying to Delilah. I'm awake, I'm awake, what's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Well, ain't that a fucking bitch. I don't really know why that would be the case. Oh. Should I be worried? <laughs> About what? We can't get help if we need it. Oh, you're tough, Hank. You don't seem like the guy who likes to ask for help. Sure. What I need you to do, though, is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Oh, God. Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Alright, so I'm heading north from the cave. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Nope. Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Hank, Hank, that rhymes. All right, so where the fuck am I heading? All right, so here we are here, and the cave was back. I think it was through Widowmaker, if I'm not mistaken. Or was it that way? Oh, that's right, the cave, 435, so it's that way. Oh, here's the wire right here. <laughs> okay. So we're heading that way, eh? But I don't have any rope or harness to go down there. And I'm heading south anyway, <laughs> Whoops. That is the correct orientation in which I should be heading. Oh, man. It's nice getting back into this game. I haven't played in a while. It's because I've been busy with other games. And the story I've been writing a lot in. Oh. Alright. Still in north? The map. The map mechanic is real finicky. I kind of don't like how everything is physics-based throughout this entire game, but... It does make up for it in the long run. I forgot how to sprint. Shit. Oh wait, I don't think I can with the map, can I? Oh. Well, uh, let's just uh, put that away. Okay, yeah. Wow, you're a beast. <laughs> well, yeah, this is about a normal fall. Alrighty, so. I, I'm afraid to pause because the thing is, Delilah pops up all the time, and there's everything to radio, so I don't know when's a good time to pause and when is not, but. What was that? Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Um, I don't think he wants to talk about Julia, so let's talk about the dog. Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend a lot of time with our dog, Mayhem. Mayhem? What kind of name is that? He was a German Shepherd, big as a truck. So why not call him Chevy? Well, we uh, we walked out of the shelter, and there was some graffiti on a trash can, and it said, Dicko Mayhem. And um, he walked over and peed all over it, and there you go. <laughs> That's a really cute story? I don't know it how... It is what it is. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. I'm just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. I don't even think I'm going in the right fucking direction. I don't think so. Why, have you? Hmm? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Oh. I'm absolutely sure. Oh. Would you? Yes. Go on. Tell me more. All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. All right. Yes. Let me know all of your secrets, woman. Hey, sorry about that. 
Anyway, no I, I thought about it, and that story is cute, and, um... Oh. Sorry, but, but you said we? You, you owned him with someone? Uh, I, I did. Although, I'll keep it to <sighs> that myself. That my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. My wife. But you're here. Uh, everything's fine. Everything's fine, just, you know, we're taking some time apart, getting some fresh air. A little change. Yeah. No. All right, well, we can just leave it at that. Thanks. Aw, she's so understanding, yet she's planning to stab me in the back. She was the one on top of the ridge. All right, I'm going in the right fucking direction. Oh, God, how am I going to scale this shit? Or not. I'll just go this way. Alright, there seems to be a, a calm in the storm of dialogue, so I'll take a pause here, get to where the next dialogue is, or get to wherever the fuck I'm supposed to be going, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, nothing's been said, but I have come across the phone lines. Let's see. Alright, right, so the end of the trail is way up there, so I'm assuming that's where I'm going to go before anything else new happens. But, uh, let's see if I can't find another rope in one of these boxes. Oh, what the fuck? I thought... Yeah. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, I'm in the right area? I do believe... Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Loop around. So not just go directly back, so that means there was a shorter way here. Motherfucker. Ah. Whoa. It's fucking gorgeous. Can I just, like... I can't. I could literally just... Free roaming. That's what I liked about... Skyrim and all those other games. The problem was that I'd get too addicted to it. Like, I'd hoard everything. Like, I would literally spend days at a time just, like, robbing one's family clean of all their priceless jewelries. What is this? Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. Well, follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Oh, I guess that's not a way down in which Hank the Beast... Oh. I hate the finicky stuff. All right, there so we, we go. really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. So, they had bricks back in the 90s, but I guess those weren't too popular as so much they were in the city. The fuck? You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. Well, Forest Service looking. really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Oh, yes. Blame the children. Blame all of the said children. Well, yeah. Uh, they... Why do you think they'd be up here? Oh, hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Oh, vandals, huh? Well, Friday the 13th. Long drop. Hmm, what was it? Hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was pretty tall, actually. More utility pole things? No. Okay. More beer cans. Jesus, these kid, These girls, if there's not... Well... So there's two girls out in the middle of the woods. There's gotta be, like, a hulking man out there. And I... Th oh! That's probably the dude who trashed my shit. Uh, last time if I recall... Oh. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. There's enough beer cans to support the evidence. 
and then go to hell on panties. What the fuck? And that looks cut. What's with the music? Yeah, that's cut as fuck. Not gonna report that, Henry. Henry, do your damn job. The fact is, the wire is broken. Come on. Oh, well, shit. Um, can I do anything? What the fuck? Oh god, is someone dead? No, this is just a rock. Uh, well, let's just follow the beer can trail. Whoop. Bonk. And, uh, hup. Yeah, bonk. Jeez, these girls must also be like hardcore parkour drunks. If they can parkour off that wasted, they're pro level. And then the hulking man that's out there, heesh. I do not want to run into that guy. So what the fuck? How do I get over there? Oh, this way, probably. Probably the logical way. Head in the direction in which the wires are down. Oh yeah, just follow the beer cans. That's another good sign. Alright. No, I'm just right back where I came from. God damn it. Let's just see if I... Okay, hey, there. so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize Ooh. this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? Ooh. I... I haven't thought that far ahead. <laughs> That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. <laughs> Let's hear it. Oh yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? Am I gonna go beat up little I think girls? I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Scooby-Doo yeah, shit? I a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. That's Thanks. vandalism, but, but then again, it's <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. All I right. doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Alright, so two miles south is the just the direction of the lake. Is the lake where I think it is? Because... Oh, Jesus. Let's see here. This is gonna be long. I haven't been in any of this region. So, oh, he updated the map. So I'm supposed to go down to Wapiti Meadow. Or I can loop back, go through Thunder Canyon, but I don't think that's gonna be a smart idea. Go to Jones's Lake probably would be the best idea via that way. Although... Based on the topography, it's a real steep down uh, climb, and I don't think I have any ropes. <sighs> huh. Alright, well, this is going to be a bitch of a hike. So, I'll talk to you guys when the next uh, dialogue burst come. Oh. Uh oh. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Brian Goodwin. Ah, Jesus, dude. What the fuck? Oh. oh, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. Who are you talking to? That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. 
Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Hmm. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? <laughs> mm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so... Jesus, you know, cougar lady. Could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. <laughs> he was stationed in Two Forks, near Lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. Oh. You can bring children out here? God. Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. <laughs> well, Blue I'm bored stone. as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? That was the wimpiest throw of my entire fucking life. Uh, someone found a what fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. That's so weird. Why are this? Why is this random shit in boxes? Can I even take this? No, I can't. Wait a minute. Hmm. Weird. Why is there all this random garbage and who are these two guys that keep, like, communicating via the boxes? It's weird. Anywho, so I have a long way to go. I'll meet you there when the next firestorm of... God damn it, every fucking corner. What is this shit now? It's just a giant fucking fence running through. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? No. Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. Yeah, you'll That's point weird. the entire fucking thing of it. Put that away. What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh, jeez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Thousands, even full percentage points of the global hedgehog population. Uh-huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? Ha-ha. <laughs> that is the real mystery. I'm really suspecting really Delilah. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high-quality information. Okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in a fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, what? we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Not likely. Unless they've got more beer cans, which I haven't seen in a two-mile fucking radius, so... I don't like Just Delilah. So you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. I'm in the mood to talk to you, but I really don't trust you. I know you didn't. You were just making conversation. I appreciate it. Just buy your trust. So, a minute. tell me about her. Oh, for fuck's sake, want. woman, shut up! I'm trying to ponder. Oh. Unless that's the gimmick. 
Can't make me think while all of this shit is happening. Pester me with conversation. Uh, fuck. She's a college professor. She's a PhD in biology, evolution, and stuff. Ooh, evolution. That's a risque subject in these parts. Man, she sounds sexy. She sure was. <laughs> Where does she teach? Boulder. That's a great school. My cousin went there. Yeah. Anyway, that's her. Anyway, while all of this is unfolding, I'd like to get my point across that I re Found him. Anyway, I really don't trust Alila anymore because this seems too scandalous. Or scandalous. Oh. Just like the whole idea of she has this witty comeback to- What the fuck? Oh, hold on. I'm back. My two alarm o'clock went off. Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. I've been up since like 12 o'clock. Oh, god almighty. Oh, I want to report the smoke's column. Anyway, like I was saying, I really don't trust Alila be- God, the fucking music. I don't trust her because this seems too easy, like too suspicious. She always has a witty comeback to literally everything. She was talking to someone on the radio about me, obviously. I didn't want to touch it though because then she might get on to me. That's why I'm not questioning her as so much, just rolling with her. But I don't know if that implies, if that, I don't know if Hank is doing it too though. I think he's just. I made my character just herp or derp right into death and certain demise. But the music's pretty as fuck. Anyway, I don't trust it. The fence just she completely blew the whole fence off, even though it was odd. But yeah, everything else, like the radio wire, she took full headedly seriously. Scare away the kids. Hmm. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. 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 You think it's them? Where the fuck am I supposed I to go so. from here? Oh. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. God, Hank, the way you jump That's scares right. me. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. I'd radio one for them. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will okay, do. will do. Oh wow. I'm starting to become Hank. I am one with Henry. Oh god. Alright, I'll wait to keep her going until the next conversation starts you know, up. God damn it. Of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. And Sharon, whose boyfriend had his own boyfriend. Jesus. Maybe you boned the neighbor. Maybe she boned the neighbor. Maybe you both did. I don't judge. If you ever want to talk breakups, I'm your gal. It wasn't a breakup, though. We didn't break up. We didn't choose to break up. She got sick. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Dementia. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here. Oh, I'm in Thunder Canyon. That's where the fuck I am. Isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Okay, now I get an idea of where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Alright, so I just followed down to Josie's Lake. Well, alright, so... Mule Point, I want to get investigating later, whenever there's another free roam session. I have 79 days of this shit, so... I'm only on day two. Don't explore everything at once. I guess is the old motto. Can I duck? Nope, it just goes right over my head. I am a short man. My six foot tall self is offended by this short protagonist. Although I did pose like a sexy Victorian secret model. Ooh. Pretty. This is a tiny lake. <laughs> this is a tiny body of... Oh. Can I swim? No, I'm not sure as hell can walk into it. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't want to go any further. I have a very, very decept fear of... Lakes in which you cannot see through. That's like a red flag alert for me. 
Oh, this is the lake. Alright, I know where I'm going. I think I do at any rate. As I run... Oh. Okay. Well... I think this is a good place to end it off here. After finding the... Somewhat culprit to this area. Am I even in the right place? No. Oh. Okay. So if I go down Widowmaker, I should be able to go down Five Mile Creek. Okay. So that's where I need to go. Okay. So, next time, I'm going to unravel more of the mystery that is Firewatch, and I can miss Cortana Delilah figure character person, Bitchface McGee, who seems to have the answers and witty comebacks to literally everything. I don't like it. Anywho, well, I guess we'll catch the beer drinkers next time. This is Warpster77 signing out. Asta.